You guys should click the alarm bell on my channel to stay notified when I do these live streams. I'm gonna be doing them like once a week. boys so back with another video following up from the last video thank you guys so much for all the support by the way i think we got like almost 2,000 views in two days on that video um where the cops came and took my sylvia away so yep it's been about a week since then um you know everything's all good pretty much just sorting out a lawyer um uh, waiting can you shut the fuck up back there oh, boy sorry, sorry, bloody dad. hell i'm so sorry dad i'm sorry can't you're don't, still playing don't hurt me dad i'm sorry um, yeah, so right now we are on our way to a photo shoot with Ash and his M6. Uh, you guys have probably seen him on the vlog before. He's got a sick 2015 M6 or something. And yeah, he's been, he's had it for a few months, but I think he's been doing a few months before we do a photo shoot for him. So me, Dean and Chris are on the way there now to go and see him. We're going to do a photo shoot. Uh, it's about four o'clock now. We're going to get some sunset photos, possibly some rollers. Um, and yeah, it should be a good time. Haven't seen him in a while. And then later on tonight, I've got to go out to the uh, Kumia police station because if you remember the vlog with a certain two blue Sylvias, an S13 and an S14, there has seemed to be someone reporting my video on YouTube. So I have heard that the Kumia police have watched it. So hello, Kumia police. Thank you for subscribing. Um, if you have, you better, you better have fucking subscribed, I swear to god, if you haven't subscribed. But yeah, I'm glad the Kumi police are enjoying my content. Uh, but yeah, we gotta go out there tonight and talk to them about something. I'm not sure exactly what they want to ask me, but I said, I, I quote said, Do I have to come talk to you when they phone me? And they said, Yes, or we can come to your house and give you another court summary. So yeah, not too keen on that. Living like a race. Ain't no sign of stopping, no more pace. I see them plotting, it ain't safe She know that I got it on the way Told her get up on my face I need diamonds on my face Only came for the baddies and the drinks Getting bands, give a fuck about what you think Watch what happens when I give a little wink We found a sick new spot here, down by the docks We had to kind of uh, get around those poles down there to get in but Pretty cool new spot just under these massive silos. You don't go to class, but you know we on the road. Yeah, you know we on the road. But that might be the Molly in a cup. She just put the taste up to my tongue. Now she probably thinking I'm the one. So to pour another drink, then I sip it till it's done. Living like a race. Ain't no sign of stopping, no more pace. I can see them plotting. Wicked, so uh, she's going pretty well so far. We found that sick new spot down by the silos and then we got some mean rollers. There was quite a bit of traffic because now it's like the end of winter. The sun is starting to get late again, but like the perfect time for rollers is sort of five o'clock-ish. Luckily, because of COVID, there's still not that much traffic on the bridge, which is right next to the CBD here. Um, you know, five o'clock, usually everyone's leaving work. So it wasn't too bad, but it was a bit annoying. Of course, every time we got the evils, and the fucking beeps and everything, but it's always good fun. Um, Ash's car sounds so fucking sick. I'm not sure how well this camera picked it up. Uh, this is my little uh, A5100, because of course I'm using my main A7 III for the photos, but yeah, it sounds so sick on the bridge. So we're here in the M6. I uh, haven't been in this thing since you first got it, eh? The, Pretty the, much, the, the yeah. Party? Yeah, Pretty so much. What, it makes 680 horsepower now? Yep. What a pussy. Fuck. What a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> So we're gonna go one more spot in the city, take like a late sunset, early nighttime shot. When I get home tonight, after I go to the police station, I gotta go to the Kumi police station to um, talk to them about my re recent video that they watched. Yeah. The, the, the Kumi police are like, fans of my channel, bro. Always Can you believe it? Part time menace with that, <laughs> um, So after I go to the police station, we're gonna be live streaming the edit of these photos. Obviously this video will come out afterwards, but you guys should click the alarm bell on my channel to stay notified when I do these live streams. I'm gonna be doing them like once a week. This thing fucking hits hard now, it's so sick. 
Not that I didn't hit hard before, but it hits extra hard now. It's 50 kilometers an hour, bro. <laughs> that zero to 50 was mad. <laughs> Canal. All right, we finished up with the photo shoot. Um, we're gonna go to the police station now. I don't believe I'm gonna be able to film. I fucking hit that notification bell. Fucking hell. This is some what? great content. Yo, what's up guys? So it's a few days later now. Uh, we're on our way up to Whangarei. Get out of the fast lane car. We're on our way up to Whangarei now to pick up a little uh, racing sim. We got one of those Logitech steering wheels, the shifters. Oh, that's a nice uh, uh, fucking IA. We got the H pattern shifter, the steering wheel, the pedals, and like a, I think it's called the play seat challenge racing seat. So, yeah, we're gonna grab that now. Uh, it's up in Whangarei, which is about two hours away. So, me and the boys, little road trip mission up there now. Um, so, yeah, the other night, we had a great shoot with Ash. Those images came out pretty well. I was pretty happy with them. And then after that, I went out to the Kumi police station because they wanted to speak to me about the video that I filmed a month ago with the two Sylvias. It was pretty upsetting uh, what I heard when I went there. Basically, the two people from the video, um, they know who they are, and I'm sure some of you guys know who they are. You know, we were all called in for questioning because they were um, in the video, and you know, people from the public saw them driving on the wrong side of the road and drifting in the video. And they basically told the police that I pressured them into doing these things for the camera, for the video, uh, which is completely untrue. I never tell any of my clients to do certain things you know I just film them also they're adults you know they they choose how they drive if I told them to do a skit and they said no you know they don't have to do it they're adults um, so yeah it's pretty upsetting to find that out so now I'm facing another charge which is I think it's um, careless use of a motor vehicle which is funny because I was sitting in the boot the entire time I didn't even drive that day um, so yeah going to court in Henderson uh, in about a month for that one, so yeah, a bit upsetting. Uh, I talked to the cop and you know, basically, you know, explained my side of the story. I'm there to film, and yeah, they basically kind of just dogged me a bit, so a bit upset about that. Um, but I don't know, we'll see what comes of it. Definitely, I have some more measurements in place uh, when I do my videos from now on, so people are gonna need to sign a contract saying, you know, this is my free will, Ben's not pressuring me to do anything because it's just it's just silly, like. Just be an adult about it, you know, if you were doing something in public, you know, whether it's on camera or not, and, you know, it's your, you're the one driving, it's your responsibility, don't try put me under the bus for filming you when you paid me to film you. And I actually gave them, um, well, one of them didn't even pay for it, they just joined along for free, and the other one I gave a big discount to because um, they're going through a bit of a rough time and I wanted to help them out and I thought their car was cool. And so yeah, I wanted to make a cool video for them. They also said to the police officer that they asked me not to upload the video and I did it anyway, which is complete nonsense. Um, the only communication we had is that, uh, is about the music in the video. They never ever asked me to not upload it. So you just need to be careful with who you work with and who you can trust because people are just out here to dog you sometimes. But anyway, it's all good now, sorting it out. Um, I'm pretty confident that I won't be charged with careless use of a motor vehicle while I was sitting in the boot of a car, apparently instructing adults to drift in public. Like, it's just ridiculous. So, yeah, anyway, that's all over now. We're on our way to Fongaray, pick up the sim. So, I'll see you guys when we get home. We'll set it up, and it's gonna be pretty hey, soon. Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast stick, you can get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me Package. We got the fucking seat here in the back. Boys are nice and fucking there, so 
Back to Auckland, another two hours. Hey, coming down like precipitation. I ain't never met a limitation. Hate applying my elimination. Gotta go to Google for the information. I'm a superstar, so I gotta shine. Top dollar be the bottom line. Chili bites, bro. Look at the chili bites, bro. In the building, bro. Yes, my father, my king. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, bro. Bro, the chili bites, bro. Do you want some? Do you want some buto? No. Try a chili bite. Try a chili bite. Try a chili bite. Try a chili bite, bro. Bottom feeding niggas out of line, turn your heart rate to a dotted line. Yeah, my zodiac probably dollar sign. Got the energy to win it, my nigga, I'm feeling great. Got a date with destiny, focusing on my fate. I don't give a fuck what you rapping, you been a fake. I'm everything that they ain't, it can't be, it won't be. Wanna see me fall, I can't go, I won't leave. Coming from the block with plain clothes and police. Straight up to the All right, so we got the sim all set up, it's super fun. I'll probably be doing some Dirt 2 live streams. It's actually way harder than the controller, which it should be, but yeah, it's uh, pretty difficult, but. Just super fun. Uh, super glad I picked it up. It was like the seat alone is 500 new and the steering wheel is 500 new and I got it all for 500 bucks. So pretty stoked with that. It's like pretty much brand new. The guys haven't been using it for like 10 hours. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, subscribe down below and remember to turn on that notification bell for when I'll be live streaming, which will be like probably at least once a week from now on. So yeah, thank you guys and I'll see you next time. Really stop shit, so I'm still pushing like a mosh pit. Ice dripping, think I'm hot shit. In a yellow bucket with a mop stick. I've been jugging jams like wholesale.